Today is Saturday, the 25th of September, and the theme for today is Deaf Culture and Arts. Within this theme is an important idea. We deaf people have a definite culture of our own, an identity and a language, a culture that is ours. We've asked Dr. John Bosco Conema to tell us a little about a research survey of the deaf community that he has worked on. The research is entitled A Sense of Community, and here's a short summary of what he found. Have a look at this slogan, language is culture and culture is language. It's a well-known phrase that people often say. You cannot separate language from culture. They're intertwined, just inseparable. So what does that mean in practice? Well, some people may have spoken French as their native language, along with a French accent. And when the language is overheard, the person is recognized as French, belonging to France. A Chinese native speaker in their language might be recognized as being from China. So in much the same way, sign language is strongly associated with the culture that exists within and an identity where sign language is a person's preferred language. So personal names, behavior, storytelling, how I like to receive and access information so I can fully grasp and comprehend it. These things are all connected to my identity. So culture and language are both present within that identity. Culture, language, and ways of thinking are also related. When we deaf people have gone into education, traditionally we've struggled being taught through English and would have preferred our own language, the language we think in, to understand and appreciate the context. Of course, it's hard to isolate and separate out language and culture, being so interrelated and enmeshed. And they constantly change over time too. Take the sign for a telephone. The sign used has changed over the years, first depicting the old-fashioned phone sets, then changing to circular phones, then showing dialing buttons on the phone, then changing to signs indicating phone text messaging and various others showing the smaller size of mobile phones. So changes in culture are reflected in language change, just like fashion styles change over time, so the, sign, the signs that we use change also. In our time, we have easy access to the wider world via the internet, easily available international travel, internet-enabled communication with each other, and these developments mean we borrow new signs into our own sign language from further afield. Our language is influenced by and influences others. The way that we think, our identity, these things change too. But how do we separate out what language is from what culture is given their close connection? Well, there is what is recognized as deaf culture. Irish Sign Language, ISL, is the language used in that culture. And deaf culture is embedded in that language, as is identity. Some of us prefer to sign to communicate rather than write notes in English. We can express ourselves in drama, poetry, storytelling and jokes so much more easily in ISL compared to the awkwardness of English. There's a genuine difference having to think in English in order to use it, rather than just letting go and signing away naturally. So the language we think in is important, and again, identity is connected to these issues. So that's a fairly simple way to understand that. I'd like to show you now some results from my sense of community survey. And of course, the results I'll describe are quite selective. I'll give you some time to read through the statements on this first table. As you can see, the table lists a set of statements, and you can see the various answers in the columns. Possible responses to statements were fully agree, mostly agree, somewhat agree, not sure, or not at all. The 270 respondents, most of whom were deaf, were given the statement, Irish Sign Language is the key that holds the community together. 70% of respondents fully agreed, with 20% saying they mostly agreed. That's a combined figure of about 90%, or including somewhat agree answers, 97%. So it's clear there is a belief that language, sign language, has culture intrinsic to it and that ISL and the community are connected. The next statement was, this community is accessible to me because its members use ISL. Again, high percentages in agreement, about 90 to 95%. The next statement was, I am comfortable with the community because its members use Irish sign language to express their views and stories. And again, we're seeing over 90% of respondents in agreement. Finally, respondents were asked whether they agreed that Irish sign language shakes my identity a lot. And once again, over 90% agreed with the statement. It's very clear that deaf culture is a huge part of this for respondents. Some more survey results now. 
And again, for this clip, I've had to carefully select from the many findings. So you'll have seen more of those types of statements in that table there. The statement was put to respondents, being a member of this community makes me feel good. So once more, over 90% agreed either fully, mostly, or somewhat with the statement. The statement, I can recognize most of the members of this community. Again, a high percentage, 90% plus in agreement. The statement, this community has symbols and expressions of membership, such as Irish sign language, deaf culture, events, mannerisms, logos, landmarks, and flags that people can recognize. So yet again, 90% agreed across the fully, mostly, or somewhat categories. And it is very important to me to be part of this community. We still see a high percentage of agreement with this statement from respondents, over 90%. So to bring this into today's theme of deaf culture, yes, deaf culture exists, as is proved by these survey results. It also shows that identity and ways of thinking are also connected to ISL. Happy Deaf Culture Day!